Chris, are you ready to give out some picks? All right, let's do this thing. Our official wagers for the week. I will start us off. We each give out five every single week. These are the games that we have our money on. And some of them are games that we've talked about, and some of them are not. Chris, I am taking the Dolphins plus seven at home against the Seahawks. I think Ryan Fitzpatrick and that offense will be able to put up points on the Seahawks defense. Seahawks are traveling all the way from up there where everything is burning all the way down to Miami. It's a long plane flight. The Seahawks have had some crazy close games and whatnot. And yes, they typically win these games on the East Coast, and they typically cover. But I do think, because this is seven, I really like the Dolphins to be able to handle this spot and uh, and at least keep it within that touchdown. If this gets up to seven and a half, you better believe I'm all on top of that. But I have already bet it at plus seven, and uh, and I, I like the Dolphins here. What's your uh, what's your first pick? Tampa Bay has the Chargers coming into town, and I think this Tampa Bay defense, Todd Bowles, is going to be ready for Justin Herbert and the Chargers offense. Rookie quarterbacks are not coming in there against this tough defensive front. Ain't going to give them any problems. Tom Brady is going to make plays. He's going to throw the football all over the place. Him and Mike Evans are hooking up like right and left. Scotty Miller, the running backs are getting the running game going. But this is going to be on the Tampa Bay defense to shut down the rookie quarterback for uh, the Chargers. I'm laying the seven. Give me Tampa Bay minus seven. I can uh, I can understand that. Tampa Bay, by the way, uh, number two in the NFL so far this season in defensive DVOA. Yes, sir. So, yeah, definitely yes, sir. pretty good. That's, uh, that's right behind the Colts and right above the Steelers. So uh, pick number two for me. I am going to two teams that we thought might be pretty good, and instead both are dreadful. There is no world in which the Texans should be a four-and-a-half-point favorite over the Vikings, regardless of what else is going on on the planet, right? So I understand the Vikings and the Titans played last week. The Vikings are uh, having to miss a couple of days of practice or whatever because of the COVID situation with Tennessee and blah, 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 whatever, right? I think the Vikings come out with their hair on fire in this game. I don't know that they win. I think they absolutely could. But four and a half is just too many damn points. I am going to take Dalvin Cook to be able to run on that Texans defense because that Texans defense cannot stop the run. I mean, we've seen it basically every game so far. Uh, I think the Vikings are going to score, and I think they're going to score a lot, and it's up to Deshaun Watson to be able to win the game, but I don't think he can win it by more than four. So that's, uh, that's where I'm rolling. I'm taking the Vikings plus four and a half. So there are a lot of weird statistics out there in the NFL that say if you ever have a double-digit dog, just take the dog. Listen, there was a day and a time where that was probably true, but today is not those days. The New York football giants are heading down to Los Angeles, and the Rams and Aaron Donald are going to destroy them. This line is 12. It's a big number in the NFL. It's a big number in the NFL. If you used to play in college ball, 12 points doesn't seem like a big deal. In the NFL, you don't get 12-point head starts to anybody. It's not going to matter. This Rams team is running the football down people's throat. Aaron Donald is wrecking the offensive line of other teams. This is a bad offensive line. This is a bad football team. Okay. Last week, Daniel Jones was the number one running back rusher for uh, for the Giants with like nine yards. I mean, it's something ridiculous. Okay. They're going to get smashed. They're going to get destroyed. They don't have a prayer in this team. They're a bad football team. Bet yeah. the Rams lay all the points. I like that. That's good. That's good. All right. I talked about it earlier. I'm going to talk about it again. This is pick number three for me. The Eagles heading to the 49ers. I don't care who's playing quarterback. I don't care who's playing running back. The 49ers have plenty of weapons. They got Kittle back. I understand they got some guys out on defense. Defense has looked fine. The Eagles are a trash fire. It's a, One of the guys on CNN last night, Birdie, said, Great show, man. Thank you for all the interaction. Have a profitable week. Gary, if I'm right about the Falcons, you have to wear a Jags hat next week. Hey, you send me a Jags hat, I will 100% wear that joker. 100%. We'll, we'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. Uh, as far as the pick goes, I don't care who they got. I think the 49ers are a much better organization, and I think that the organization will beat the Eagles by more than seven. I think this is a much better football team. I think they are getting to come home for the first time in three weeks because they get to play at the uh, at the Jets and at the Giants. 
I understand there's two bad football teams. I get it, right? But they destroyed both of them. I think they will destroy this bad Eagles team as well. Give me the 49ers minus the seven at home. I don't care who's playing. I just know that the 49ers are better. My third pick going to Kansas City and taking my Patriots. I think they got a really good shot to win this football game. Bill Belichick is going to be more prepared for this game than anybody we've ever seen. This is going to to be a more different game than the Chiefs defense has had a game plan for than 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 they're than they're used to. Okay. The defense for the Chiefs has actually been really impressive. But but they're playing very conventional teams. This is not a conventional football team the way they're running the offense. They get James White back. Him him showing up uh today in that locker room, I, I'm I'm certain just brought an energy that those guys were just were just really feeling and they're going to be ready to play, play come Sunday. I think they got a really good shot to walk out of there with a win. Okay. I don't think anybody goes undefeated in the NFL. This is a proper spot for the Chiefs to fall, and I get a seven-point head start. I'm taking it. I am with you. Um, that's not going to be one of my official plays, mainly because I wanted you to have it, and I wanted to have some different options, but I will have money on, on the Pats. So, well, I, I take that back. I've already got money on the Pats. But either way, official play here, Browns plus four and a half at the Cowboys. Cowboys should not be a four and a half point favorite over any team that has any kind of a pulse on offense. At the running game for the Browns has been unbelievable thus far. It has absolutely saved Baker Mayfield. Best all, in the league. All Mayfield has to do really is is play action. You got one guy on a post route, easy to do, right? I, I think they're going to be able to do that all day against Dallas. Dallas has got major problems on defense, and I understand that their offense is pretty good. But I also think that the, the Browns' defense is pretty good. Pretty good defense. So Miles Garrett's going to have something to say about it. Yes, he most certainly will. And those corners and everything else, like the linebackers are pretty good. I, I think this Browns team is pretty good. I think they can win the game. Four and a half points. Way too many here. Give me the Cleveland Browns. What's yep, your fourth? I love it. I love it. That's one of my picks as well. Cleveland Browns plus four and a half. Go ahead and give you that. And I'll give you my last pick. Monday Night Football. Take a pissed off Aaron Rodgers against a dead ass horse and Dan Quinn. This is just not. This is not going to be close, guys. And that's exactly what my last pick is. I love the Packers in the spot. I I think Aaron Rodgers is still mad. I think he is still irritated. I think he wants to beat everybody by a thousand if he can, and now he gets to do it at home against a team that cannot stop the pass. Yeah. If if everybody no. in his organization and everywhere else was questioning whether or not he can still throw the football, he has shown you multiple times already this year, and he's going to keep doing it. He's going to keep throwing the football. Like the guy Listen, is talented as hell, man. We had we had Patrick Mahomes just go on Monday Night Football because nobody was talking about him for MVP. Okay, he was getting left out of the conversation. You know who's been left out of the conversation the last couple of weeks? A. A. Ron and A. a. Ron. Now he has Monday Night Football all to himself against a trash ass defense. Yes, and he is going to make them look bad. He is going to shine. And when Monday's over with, we're going to now talk about our fourth quarterback in the MVP race. And everybody's going to say maybe he's the best player in football still. And that it's just this conversation is going to continue to go. These guys are just one up in each other every week. There are enough bad defenses floating around out there for one of them to face off against one and and just look pretty good. Yeah, and I think Aaron Rodgers will be doing that for sure. Uh, young Ganji jumped in. Look who the Browns have played. Cowboys strength of schedule way better than the Browns. Agreed. That doesn't the Falcons. Have it. No, I think he's talking. He's talking about the Browns and the Cowboys. So, well, yeah, okay. Um, the The Cowboys have played the Falcons. That's a That's a really yeah. bad team. They played the they played the Rams, who are a pretty good team. Yeah, Seahawks they and Rams Seattle, are good. who's a good team. Browns played what? The Bengals. The we played Bengals, the Ravens, and now um, last week was Washington. Yeah. So, and I understand they beat up on Washington. They beat up. Uh, well, that they didn't beat up on, but they beat the Bengals. Uh, yep. They did not look good against the Ravens. There's not a lot of teams that will this year. I understand the That's Chiefs right. did, but uh, but look, I, I don't I don't hold Week One against them. I think that the Browns have gotten better as the season's gone along, and I hope that that's what you know every team strives to do. The They're, Cowboys look like misfits. They're <laughs> dropping the football all over the place. They've li- they, they've got to lead the NFL in fumbles after just yeah. the last two weeks. Oh yeah, uh, Darren McArdle said, "Don't bet on the Jets or the Browns." That's the number one rule in football betting. Eh, maybe. 
I think I think those days are over for Cleveland. Maybe so. Uh, young Ganji tossed in uh, the Cowboys and Washington. Can't uh, can't bet on them either. So, <laughs> but that's the thing. If you can't bet on the Browns or the Cowboys, who you bet on in this matchup? I'm gonna take the Browns, especially at more than a field goal. So, uh, with that said, I think that that is everything that we need to hit for today. Chris, is there anything else we need to tackle? I think that's it, brother. All right, you guys know what to do. Head over to winningcureseverything.com. Make sure you got everything you need from us over there. I promise you, you will find it there. Joseph Gomez said, I'm taking the over. Hey, you do what you need to do, and that's probably the smart way to go about it. Probably the smart way to go about it for the Browns and the Cowboys and the Falcons and the Packers. Whatever the number is, just toss it up there. Do that thing. Abigail Shook said, uh, said watch your show every day. Love it. Hey. Thank you. We Thank appreciate you, you. We appreciate you. If you guys would, do us a favor. Like the video. Share it out. Tell your friends about it. All that good stuff. And make sure you are subscribed. Of course, we try and have a good time with this thing. And uh, and we appreciate everybody that comes in and helps this chat every single day. You guys help drive the conversation. You toss in some, uh, some witty one-liners here and there. And we appreciate you guys for doing it. Go over to sbrpicks.com slash NCAAF. That's where our college football content can be found. And the Sportsbook Review YouTube page. We are live every Tuesday and Saturday over there discussing college football. We will be doing the same thing again on Saturday morning at 11 a.m. Eastern time. So make sure you go and check that out. Make sure you are subscribed over there as well. Uh, Chris, if there is nothing else, I believe it is time for us to uh, to hit the road. So with that, that said, you guys take care of yourself. Take care of each other. And we will see you next time. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.